we go. <laughs> I slowed it right down, it, it, Wayne. Uh, and that's how I'm getting when I drop yeah. almost on the bottom. I slowed it right down, and that thing hammered it. Oh, it's a little a nice bit bigger. That. You need the net for that one? You think? Oh, he's just lightly hooked. I think I can manhandle it. Okay. Now it's just hooked one hook. Look at this. Is it? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> nice release. Very cool. Coming up. On this week's episode, Bob and his brother Wayne are at Reed's Birch Island Resort in Manaki, Ontario, fishing shallow bays early season for active pike. Bob and Wayne try the lead-in points and lead-outs of these bays for big fish. Camaraderie, fishing, and accommodations make for memories to last a lifetime. Wow. Here we go. That is a fish of a lifetime right there. Wow, we... That thing is a monster! They fight hard, don't they? Look at that magnificent fish. Look <laughs> at the size of that fish. There he is again. The color is incredible. Oh, there we go. The Real Fishing Show with Bob Izumi. Big old Great Lakes smallmouth. That is a big rainbow trout, Chris. Nice double header. Whoa! <laughs> nice jump. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That is a monster <laughs> smallmouth. Man, that is so cool. Another one, there we go. The biggest pike I've ever caught. Look at that chunk. So that's what we're talking about. Real fishing is sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water, and Tim Hortons. On the Real Fishing Show, we make catching fish like this a possibility. Well, you can see we worked the lead in on the graph here, and this is on the uh, Lorentz. We've got a Navionics chip in here, which uh, shows all these bays and brake lines that you can fish up in Menaki. And what we're going to do this afternoon is Wayne and I are just going to run and gun and hit the lead ins to these bays. And if you hit enough bays, roll the dice, you're bound to get into some active fight. Season just opened here in May, so a lot of these fish are filtering out on lead-ins, points going out into the open water. Pretty basic pattern, isn't it, Wayne? I was in a boat yesterday. We really hit them hard on these outside points there. Yeah, it was good. Well, I can see the uh, pelicans are up on shore here. That must mean there's fish around somewhere. So I'm just going to ease in where the rocks start, and we'll work our way right out. Oh, uh, just there's one up. Oh, here, I got one. I got a decent one. I'm watching you, and I turn around, and this thing is like one foot behind my uh, yeah. my swim bait. <laughs> this fish just ate, ate that swim bait. Oh, boy. Just think of that. <laughs> Since I got him here with the cooters, back in with the cooters he goes. And I got yeah, the hook keeps getting in my hand here. Here, I'll go this way. I use the long nose. Okay, you ready? Yeah. That's just. There we go. Okay, good. Good. Alrighty. Now look at this. What is that? Yeah, it is a leech. Yeah. I've seen that before. A little Should leech on. Yeah. Okay. A little leech. Oh, well, there we go. All right. See you later, buddy. Almost had Torpedo. two medical emergencies. One Bob Azumi and one we de-leached the pipe. Ah, you know. <laughs> this is a Berkeley rib shad here, and I've got it on a Sabule rig, Wayne, that's got actually a wet weighted keel with a, a belly hook on it. And I'm going a different. I'm going a little grass pig here on just a, a little a jig head, maybe a quarter ounce jig head. Slow swimming this. It's working. Big, small. And we are in a perfect spot. A saddle between... Uh, an island and a point, always a good spot to fish. I'm just going to lower it down again. Those fish just swam through. Got that nice coffee-colored water up here. It's the old transition time. They're everywhere. With good polarized glasses so you can see if there's any fish following, right? Oh, there's fish. Oh! oh nice. That was cool. Right. Whoa! <laughs> that, whoa! That whoa, was so whoa. neat. 
<laughs> I'm hitting anchor mode now on the motor guy just so we don't blow down the shore. Isn't that un unbelievable, Bob? You can use that anchor mode to stay off the rocks and everything else. Well, that's such a cool, a cool uh, deal with the motor guy. That's a nice pike right there. Oh, he doesn't fit the net. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's grunting. Nice. Beautiful <laughs> colors. Nice. We're gonna, gonna need a bigger net. Okay. Yeah, that motor guide's working. If you look at it, it's just going eh, 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 and holding us right off these rocks. It's got that pinpoint GPS. There we go. Cool. Wayne, well, get a picture of me of this All right. before I release it. There we go. Cool. Okay, let's get this fish back in the water here. Uh -oh. That's a long fish, Bob. Yep. Whoa, pa. <laughs> they always do that. They always play possum for yeah. just a second. Have a towel. <laughs> and they slap the water. Whoa. That was quick. What was that? Three of them in the tiny little saddle here. And look at the current going through it, Bob. It's almost like a river. See that? Cool. Oh, oh, barely. <laughs> when we return, more Reed's Birch Island Resort pike fishing. Stay tuned. Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Toro. Count on it. The most important consideration in underwater filming is lighting. Looking from the opposite direction, it's hard to believe these are the same brook trout. Sunlight brings colors to life. Taking it further, a view like this requires absolutely perfect lighting conditions. Down under, it's amazing how light changes the look of things, particularly when you travel from a shaded location out into the sun. Witness the shimmering colors of these emerald shiners and how they transform in the darkness. Cloud cover also has a dramatic effect. In this sequence, fast moving clouds put an ever changing light show down below. No matter how a bait looks above water, it's nearly always a different story down below. The effect of available light is an important consideration for anglers. Cloud cover, water clarity, and the direction of sunlight determines what fish see. In most cases, profile and size are more important than unpredictable and changeable colors. Same bait, same place. When hitting from below, fish basically see a dark silhouette. At all times and in all water types, basic black appears the same. Or go with the old standby. If you have to surrender to just one color, try waving a white flag. There's one. Amazing, eh, Bob? This what bowl. was that, like your first cast back? Second cast back. He actually ticked with the first cast. I didn't say anything. <laughs> you always wonder how many you go by. Like, yeah. we locked the anchor down on the XI-5 after we caught those few pike. Yeah. And you threw right back to where right, we caught okay. the fish. Well, this one's oh, a nice chunk, one, that Chunkier one. Oh, look at him go. Whoa, catch and release. There he goes. That's a disadvantage, Bob. You're using that big, wide gap hook. And look at, I'm using probably a little, just a small, small hook. Look at the difference, eh? Am I using a little gulp jig head? Yeah, basically that's it. Okay, there we go. So I got the wire leader on. And it's really key to rig these straight. So what you want to do is you want to line it up like this. I just got my thumb there where I want to push it through. And there. I want to leave that exposed and then, of course, the treble. So I've got that little nine inch wire leader. And that's it. And I'm running a professional grade uh, trilene uh, braid on that rod. And that's uh, the Revo Beast. That is the most amazing bait cast reel for flipping, pitching, pike fishing, and frog fishing for largemouth bass. And I got on Ike Canelli rod here, one of his big swim bait rods. Very cool. Okay. I'll have to admit that fishing is definitely a priority for me when I come to some of these resorts, but one of the cool things about Reed's Birch Island Resort is that you can either fly or drive here. On this trip, we've got some prize winners from Toro, the uh, dealers that uh, won a prize to fish up here. I think there's like 16 or 18 of us on this trip, and we've basically got the whole resort to ourselves. 
here, it's like you're in another world. Uh, there's bald eagles, there's bear, there's all kinds of wildlife as well. And you know what, there's something about the camaraderie, the fun at the shore lunches, the dinners in the evenings. I'll tell you what, these are definitely memories that will last a lifetime. Mm, Bob, right at the boat. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Look at cold water oh. and they're just sluggish. Eh? Oh, that one's a thick one. Here, hold on, I'll get the net. Get away from that motor. Here he comes. <laughs> He's thick. Oh. Wayne's using some body language in this. Okay. That chartreuse shirt is bent like a pretzel. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, <laughs> it barely fits. Oh, man. We're not really geared up for these, Bob. No, not really. I got a little walleye net here. Look at the damage he's got on. Something he, bigger has been attacking him. He has got some serious damage. Look at that. Pop that out. Your, your little gulp jig head with a little <laughs> tiny grass, grass pig. pig junior on there. There you go. Hold that up. Uh -oh. There you go. Got it? Yep, there you go. Oh. Let's see. Look at the teeth marks on there, right? Here, let me get one picture of you. One picture? Okay. Okay. Ice cold fish. Oh, Bobby's going back in. What about these teeth marks? What was what was chewing on him? Oh. oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I think what I'm going to do is just idle over, and we're going to try another point over there. It looks pretty darn good. The lead outs of spawning bays. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Oh, no, he's off. Wayne makes a real fishing save when we return. Stay tuned. This tip of the week is sponsored by Coleman, the outdoor company. I'm here with my favorite sunglass person in the whole wide world, Jenny G from Costa. And you guys make the most incredible fishing glasses in the world. And Jenny, your last name, how do you say it? Gordillo. Okay, well, it's your Colombian accent. I can't get that name down. I need that brr, you know? <laughs> anyway, we've known each other for like four years. Let's talk about lens colors, okay? Because um, a lot of anglers uh, see the different colors of lenses that you guys offer. Let's just take a sample here and talk about different colors for application. Sure. So, Bob, we have here our sunrise lens, which is going to be your best lens to create more contrast. This actually allows 27% light transmission. So it's ideal when it's rainy, when it's cloudy outside. That's the kind of lens that you're going to pick. I find they really enhance things, don't they? Correct. It creates more contrast. Okay. And next, we're going to have, this is going to be our copper lens. And the copper lens is going to be a light you know, a lighter lens, and it's going to also allow more light, not as much as the sunrise lens, but the copper lens is perfect for all around conditions. It's, it's great for inshore here in Canada. Okay, and now um, you also have gray lenses. Correct, we have gray lenses. This is our camo style, this is a fantail, and camo is very, you know, it's sought out after for, you know, anybody who's into hunting. And this gray lens is perfect for all around conditions. You know, so it's, it's actually it's a darker lens. So whenever it's bright outside, that's the kind of lens that you're gonna look for to protect your eyesight. When I'm on big water uh, around the Great Lakes here in, in Ontario or on the ocean, I use a lot of gray lenses. Now you also have a darker lens yet than gray, don't you? Correct. And we have like a, something in between though. This is actually Tuna Alley in Green Mirror. And that's ideal for inshore fishing for bass, for uh, wally, for muskies, for trout. So this is a perfect lens for the water sea in Canada for lake fishing. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this frame design's new, and what color of lens is That's that? That's actually Rooster. This style won best eyewear at ICAS, at the fishing show in the United States. And actually this is a, a 580 glass, it's blue mirror, which is the darkest lens that we have. It only allows 10% light transmission. So this is the ideal lens that you want to have when you're going to go fishing offshore, selfish, marlin, so it's the best, darkest, and the darkest lens. And you know, Jenny, I can't stress this enough to our viewers, that having good sunglasses make all the difference in the world for watching, following fish, your lure as it's coming in, seeing fish that might dart off and throwing a cast towards them. Having good polarized glasses can make all the difference in the world. Thanks a bunch. Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you.
hole. Whoa. Whoa. Nice lot, nice lot. Whoa, Get baby. Get away from that trolling motor. Did you see him? <laughs> In slow motion, eh? Wow. Right. I'm gonna, I just hit uh, anchor, Wayne, yeah. on the motor guide. Okay. He ate right, what, with about three feet of line out, Wayne? Right? No, but slow motion. That was cool. It's a nice pike. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Does he know he's hooked yet? Uh, there, look at that. Oh, whoa. baby, that's a good one. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I don't think he's going to. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> you know, this, this reel here is a Revo Beast way, mm -hmm. and it is the ultimate pike reel. It's uh, got 65 pound trialing professional grade braid, and I got it on uh, the Abu Garcia Iconelli rod. Is he going to fit in that net? I don't know. Yeah, oh. Oh, oh, no, he's off. Oh, you got him. <laughs> Two points. Okay. Two points. <laughs> oh, the, net, the net's bending. Oh, oh. Look at the chunk. That is a good one right there. Not, that is cool. Look at that puppy. That's not a post spawn. I don't think that wow. thing is spawn. All right. Big fat thing. All right. And that's why we like Ontario sunset country right there. <laughs> and that is just amazing. We'll get a few pictures and a measurement on this, and then we'll put her back. All right, I tell you, that was really cool. Watching that fish. Okay, let's see. Come on, baby, now. Look at this. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> they always just give you that flick. Where's that towel at? Right here. Okay. That towel's getting good use today, isn't it? You slimed up my uh, power bait bag here. Dripping right. all over top of it. It'll be all right. <laughs> at, least it, at least it's broken in now. Yeah, right. <laughs> I love that rib shot. Whew. Oh, that's a nice one. When we return, highlights at Reed's Birch Island Resort. Stay tuned. I love fishing patterns, and uh, you know, I'm up here at Reed's Birch Island Resort in Manaki, Ontario, up in uh, Ontario Sunset Country, and. I'm just working these small bays for pike, and this is the second little feeder bay I've worked here, and it's, uh, you know, early spring. Every one of them so far, this is the second one we've hit, is loaded with uh, pike. We have only seen one good one so far. If you run enough of these, it's just like gambling or rolling the dice, you're eventually going to hook up with some fish. And in this case, this is a small one around the corner here. There's a larger bay that will hit, and, uh, you know, I'm just going to keep running bays till I find a bigger pike or two. And obviously the little hammer handles are in them. There's gotta be a big one somewhere, maybe on the lead out of them. So let's see what happens. But it's called uh, just running a pattern until you, uh, you find some bigger fish. Follow up bait. Yeah. <laughs> Small one? Uh, you can't see him. Yeah, not bad. He's a supercharger. That's funny. There's a mud line in this little bay, and obviously the wind's been blowing in here today, Wayne. Mm -hmm. I can only see my swim bait about half the distance in the water compared to uh, before. Oh, that's a nice one. Mm -hmm. I'd net him if I were you. You get that little spinning rod on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Revo drag. It's up to you. I'd help you, but I'm, I'm running the trolling motor here. There you are. One hand. Whoa. Funny, they're all different body ones. This is a long one. And you know, really, the target species up here would definitely be in order of this, I'd say, Wayne. Walleye up here in Manaki. And you know, of course, we've been walleye fishing every morning, getting. Uh, fish for shore lunch with the group. We got some Toro lawnmower prize winner uh, dealers up here. Got some friends up here. We've been having these wonderful shore lunches every day. And uh, that's been really the highlight of the trip for, for many of the guys who haven't you know done them before.
And so it, it's really cool because uh, the muskie fishing up here is world class. Now the muskie season hasn't <laughs> oh, opened yet. You just lose another one? Right on that rock. And muskie season opens up uh, in June, so it's not even open yet, but I know a lot of people come up here and target muskies. It's phenomenal. They say there's a lot of big 50 inch plus fish here. But pike season, walleye season, I just missed one too, right there, Wayne. Throw that little swim bait right oh, in there. Oh, look at this huge boil. They seem to like that little itty bitty yeah, that's hors d'oeuvre right. you're using as well. You, you irritate them with that big monster, six or seven inch, and I come in with this little three and a half inch. The bigger fish, they'll have no problem saying, I want that rib shed. Oh, oh that was cool. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, no, he's off. Oh, you got him. <laughs> You're not really geared up for these, Bob. No, not really. I... Nice. Beautiful colors. <laughs> nice fish. Oh. <laughs> OK, let's get this fish back in the water here. Hey, what can I say? The last three days have been a lot of fun. Fishing, uh, some good laughs some phenomenal eating, and we've had the island all to ourselves up here at Reed's Birch Island Resort. So it's just been a memorable trip. If you ever get a chance, you should get a group of people together and come on up and visit the Reeds up here on this wonderful island that they have. We'll see you next week right here for some more real fish. Yeah, all right. <laughs> this is a big fish. That is a fish of a lifetime. Well, that is just amazing. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> that was too cool. Oh, man, what a fish. Look at that.